Hey everybody, Max Kevin here. It's the Keith Podcast. It's not too long. And I can't be can't be too loud today, you know? It's kind of, it's, it's close to Betty Booper's time right now, you know? My house is pretty quiet. I think the other roommates are trying to go to Sleepy Weepy, you know? It's only 9 o'clock though, but it's a school night. It's a school night, so you better go to Betty Booper's early, you know? I used to go to bed at 10 o'clock back, back when I was a you know, junior high school student, you know? But then when I got to high school, I was, I was like, I don't care what you say, Mom. I'm going to bed whenever I want. And that, and I'm even though it's 930, I'm going to go to bed now because I got a test tomorrow. You know? uh, I also remember in high school, I used to take zero period. And uh, and uh, I took the I took the I took the city bus every day. You know, the one that cost a dollar you put in the dollar. And uh, a lot of times it, the bus would be like 30 minutes late. So I'd show up to class like 30 minutes late, even though the class is only an hour. Almost every day I'd show up late. And uh, and uh, then my mom took me out of the zero period because she thought I was too tired. And uh, she didn't tell me, though. She just like called the school and had them switch it. And she didn't tell me. And then like I remember like the next week I got a I got like a they called they called because I was absent because I didn't come to my six period class because I didn't have six period normally. You know, I just went home every day after six period because I went to zero period instead. But then she switched it. So I kept going to. I remember I went to my zero period class and the teacher was like, he was like, aren't you in my first period class now? I'm like, what? No, zero period. I'm here every day. And he's like, well, you're not on my, you're not on my roll sheet. I'm like, well, whatever. I was last week, right? And he's like, you're on my first period roll sheet. Because I don't think the teacher really understood what was going on here. And then, uh, yeah, and then, and then the school called. And they're like, you didn't attend six period. I'm like, I don't even have six period, you know? And then my mom told me, she's like, oh, I switched it. And I looked at her, I'm like, what are, you, what are you talking about? What do you mean you switched it? And she's like, I don't want you taking zero period, so I switched your I switched your classes, so now you have six period. I'm like, what? I'm like, what? You can't, you can't do that without telling me? And you just fucking... That was, uh, that was a very frustrating moment of my life, but, uh... Eh, what are you gonna do, you know? What are you gonna do? I went, and then I, you know, started taking Spanish class, six period, with a better teacher. There was a lot of hot mamas in that class too. That was good. There was a lot of there was a lot of hot teenage mamas, a lot of hot sixteen year old girls, you know. But maybe I shouldn't talk about that anymore, you know, because now I'm an old man. But uh, yeah, this was twenty years ago, you know. I was pretty fat back then, you know. I didn't have any chance with any of these girls, but uh, you know, I'd stare at their butts when I when I'd be studying Spanish. I'd be like, I'd be like, me gusta tu culo, mamacita. Vamos a la biblioteca y tango sexo. You know, I don't, I'm pretty sure that's uh, pretty good Spanish. But, uh, you know, anyway. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, zero period, getting up early. It's Monday. It's a school day. Uh, I got to be quiet because, yeah, okay, anyway. Okay, I'm back. I'm back now. Yeah, so, um, anyway. What am I going to talk about this podcast? You know, I was just, uh, I was just uh, perusing online, you know. Sometimes I just peruse online, uh, just uh, well, internet surfing, they like to call it, you know? It's like you're surfing, but it requires a lot less balance and a lot less agility and a lot less athletic ability, you know? You don't need shit to surf the internet. You just need to be a fat kid sitting in a seat clicking the mouse, you know? They probably really shouldn't have called it surfing, you know? Because surfing is like one of the most physically intense sports there is. It's extremely difficult to do, you know? But to surf the internet, you don't got to do shit. You just gotta sit there. You just gotta click them out. Anybody could do that. They should have called it internet scrolling or internet clicking or internet. All you're using is your fucking finger, you lazy fat piece of shit. You know, anyway, yeah. So I was do- I'm doing some, you know, I uh, do some uh, internet surfing every once in a while, you know. On the, uh, I like to go on Reddit. I don't know if you guys like that website, Reddit. I go on there more than I should, more often. I spend a lot more time than I should, you know. And, uh,. Yeah, I was looking at one of these posts. I clicked on this one. It's a couple days from last week. I was just like looking at my old comments, you know, seeing if I could talk about anything or maybe think of any jokes. And there was this one. Uh, it's like some cell phone, right? I, I clicked to the comments, and like seven different people had written "nice." Like that's all they wrote, just just "nice." Like another guy wrote "nice," you know. So it, can be, it became like a running joke, you know. All these people, like seven different people, wrote it. So then I wrote, uh, I wrote to contribute. I, I wrote, I wrote "noice" with N O I C E, you know. As like a little typo, you know, or whatever. So now I come back, it's a week later. 
everybody's everybody's comments are uh, you know negative points or whatever, <laughs> and mine's the most mine's the most negative. <laughs> Everyone hated my comment the most. Oh, that's great. It's just so funny, cause all the other all the other nices that didn't get. Everyone hated my my typo nice the most. It makes me feel good, you know. Anyway, uh, that was a lot better in my head thinking about talking about it than actual actually saying it, you know. That kind of happens with a lot of my jokes too. They sound really funny in my head, but then when they come out of my mouth, it's just like, oh, that was fucking dumb. That was fucking stupid. Why would you ever think that's funny? You fuck. You know. Anyway. Oh, so uh, you know, I'm just I'm um, scrolling on the internet here. I like list. I like looking at the uh, scientific articles on Reddit. You know, they they got this one science science uh, section where you can read the new studies that are going on. You know. Uh, let's see what we got here. Nothing. Physicists develop method for levitating and propelling objects using only light waves. Wow, that's amazing. Most teens report using marijuana less often after legalization. Yeah, I could have told you that. I could have told you that. All we had to do was, you know, go to Amsterdam or whatever. Every Dutch person I met, none of them smoke. You know, they're all straight edge. They're all like smart. They're all doctors and shit, you know. They speak like four languages. And like, they're like, I'm Dutch. And you're like... And like, oh yeah, where are you from? It's like, oh, I'm from Amsterdam. And you're like, oh, you're from Amsterdam, bro? Yeah, let's get fucking baked. And and the guy was like, oh yeah, I never done that stuff ever. The people do that are fucking dumb. And I was like, oh, oh, never mind then. You want to drink beer too? And he's like, no, I don't like drinking either. You know, I like studying and being successful. I was like, oh okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna drink beer, smoke weed now. So I'll see you later. Oh, let's see, uh, man, I like going to the politics section too, you know, because it's fun, you can, you can, um, read comments about people that are brainwashed, and, uh, it's just, <laughs> it's so, it's so silly, oh my god, I gotta, I gotta go, oh, what is it, what is it, politics? It's so silly, some of these, some of these are, uh, okay, I'm looking at the, at the politics I'm looking at the politics section on Reddit right now. The uh, the top article is called Robert Mueller's team says it will be very busy in the coming days. And this has 12,000 12, points, 800 comments. The title of this article is Robert Mueller's team says it will be very busy in the coming days. Well, that's, uh, that's not a news article. I don't know who wrote that, but... Uh, you know, just uh, just your new your article that says, "Oh yeah, these people that have been investigating Trump for the past uh, year and a half, oh they're gonna be busy pretty they're pretty soon next week they're gonna be busy." That's the well that's all the news we have to report today. Yeah. It's like what what were they doing the last year and a half? They weren't busy. Were they they were just fucking around? This is and that twelve thousand people said this is a good article. That they didn't twelve thousand people didn't didn't have the same thought I did, but. Like, well, why is this even an article? Why is saying someone's busy? Why weren't they busy the last year and a half? This isn't in the news article. And it, what, what, I got, you know, anyway, uh, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny, some of these people. Oh, of course, then we, oh, here we got another one. We got another one. Elizabeth Warren calls for the right to vote constitutional amendment, abolishing the electoral college. Okay. All right, Elizabeth Warren. Uh, you know, when I first, the very first time I heard of Elizabeth Warren, you know, she was criticizing, like, the, the Fed bailouts, and I was like, oh, who is this? Who is this woman? She's criticizing the Fed bailouts. She might not be a goddamn moron, you know, but then the more, then she kept talking. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. I thought you were cool, but then you kept talking. Why would you do, why would you, you know, it's like, like when Barack Obama first came on the scene, I had him, he was on my, on my MySpace friends, my top friends on MySpace, you know? If you kids don't know what MySpace is, this was before Facebook. We had this thing called MySpace. You didn't have to put your real name. You could put a fake name and fake pictures. <laughs> one, of my, one of my friends, he uh, he just put the worst pictures ever. Oh, man. Anyway, uh, when I first heard of Barack Obama, the first speech I heard from Barack Obama, he was talking about how he's against the Iraq War. And I was like, all right, well, 
finally this guy, he wasn't, he didn't, you know, he didn't vote for the war. Thank fucking God. Maybe this guy, you know, but then he just kept talking. Then he just kept talking. It's like, oh no. Oh no, you used to be cool. Now, why are you saying all those other dumb things? Why, why would you say, why would you stop it? You used, I thought you were cool, you know. Anyway, uh, so that's kind of feel about Elizabeth Warren. She wants to, uh, well, of course she, uh, you know, she didn't, she didn't build that or whatever, you know. She didn't, uh, none of her, none of her success was because of her hard work. It was because of, uh, social programs, I guess. But now she wants to abolish the electoral college. And, uh, I just want to ask her, you know, it's like, well, I think the, I think the founding fathers of America, I think they, they, they knew what direct democracy was. You know, I think there was a reason why they created electoral college. You know, they didn't just do it for nothing. They didn't just do it for no reason. You know, there, there probably was a reason. What do you think that reason was? You know, maybe think about that. Maybe think about that just for a little bit, you know? Maybe consider that, you know? All those guys were way smarter than almost everybody that's ever lived since, so maybe think about that just a little bit. You know, anyway, uh, I won't get too political here. I'm a little cutie podcast, and I might alienate some of my listeners. I don't want to alienate you guys. I don't want to, I don't want you guys to become aliens and suck out my brains, you know? Oh, anyway, I think I'm being too loud, you know, might be waking up the, might be waking up the roommates, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Betty Boopers now, you know, thanks for listening, maybe I'll see you tomorrow.